and go. So April 16, 2014, I'm producing a video to explain to owners the benefits of lateral ear canal resection in dogs. Normally this surgery is done when the dog is having a long-standing in infection and inflammation of the ears. For example, the dog has been scratching the ears every day and this has passed and is smelly for many weeks or many months. And uh, after treating by the, the groomer and the vets, there is no improvement. The dog keeps on scratching and uh, shaking his head day and night. So this uh, operation is called lateral ear canal resection. Now normally I explain to clients how it is done through the website to biobets.com. So usually I will uh, put uh, download this website to biobets.com and then in the consultation room, I will click on dogs. Under dogs, then we will go to ear problems. Ear problems. So I click ear problems, and uh, I will take one example of the many done. So I will click on this now is a lateral ear canal resection surgery for hairy ear miniature schnauzer, which is quite a common problem. Now so. I click to uh, the case of the schnauzer with hairy ears and the surgery done. Now, many owners want to know how it's being done. So I have one case where I have uh, taken images and uh, to show how it's done. Now, this, uh, the dog is anesthetized and put on side, on the side. Now, this is the left ear being uh, operated. So the most important thing is, first of all, you must do the marking so that you know exactly how under the back, how you cut. Other, otherwise, if you don't do the, the marking, then you might be cutting too long or too short. Now, normally we put a forceps in. This forcep will go down and normally that is the, the, the limit, the lower limit of the forceps. So this is the lower limit, I mark X. So this is where the extent of the depth of the vertical canal. This is the vertical canal. So with this marker done, then we'll go to the next stage. Next stage will be this is the next stage. Now the next stage we use electrosurgery, which, which is electricity, to cut off the side wall or the skin first, the skin of the vertical canal. The X is here, so the, the cutting will be uh, longer than the, the, the area where the horizontal canal opens, that's where the X is. So it's considered is if this distance is, is uh, caught, X. This will be X upon 2. Okay, I will show you the next next slide. Now, after cutting, this skin, which actually covers the lateral wall or the side wall of the vertical canal, is lifted lift up, lifted up so that uh, you expose the cartilage and muscle and fat area of the lateral wall of the vertical canal. That's why it's called lateral ear canal resection. Lateral means side. Uh, this vertical canal, the site is called lateral. Okay, so so you lift up this flap, and the vet should be able to feel the the side wall with his fingers. You can feel it. So the next stage will be to to locate the opening, the opening of the horizontal canal. Now the opening of the horizontal canal is where just now the forceps went in at the end. So this opening is, is, a, is a mark for you, a landmark. So that when you clamp the other two forceps, one is here and one is here, one is here, so, so that you can have your markings. So, so now we go to the next slide. Now next time I will show where I use an electrode, electricity to, zzz, to cut. 
cut cut the 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 posterior side. That means the, the back area of the canal, and after that the front the front area. The next the next slide will show. Uh, that's how how you can see that uh, horizontal canal is shown. The cartilage has been cut. The prepense has been cut. Yeah. And uh, this is the one. It's cut and pulled downwards. Then this is the one. Just now, the electrode was it was uh, used to cut it using electricity so that there's less bleeding. And this one has, is uh, pulled downwards. So you can see this is opening of the vertebral canal. The lateral wall has been removed. That's why it's called lateral ear canal resection. Lateral wall has been removed. And uh, this is the middle side, the, in, the inside. And uh, we pull it down. Now, when you pull it down, this cartilage is too long, so we need to cut half of it away. Half of it is about uh, leaving behind one centimeter, one to 1.5 centimeter behind. So anything more than that, we just cut it off, as it's not required, not needed. So the next stage will be, this, after you cut off the lateral cartilage to 1 cm to 1.5 cm, then we, you can see that there is an opening here, there is the opening of the horizontal canal. Now this vertical canal, as you can see, has been opened up. The horizontal canal you can't see because it's inside like this. So this one is the opening of the horizontal canal, just like the human ears. Human ears also have horizontal canal, but human ears the vertical canal is not, not covered by the cartilage. For human ears, it's exactly like what you see now. It's open for the human ear. And human ear, you see a hole. That hole is opening of the horizontal canal in the human ear. So you can, you can understand why the, the human ear doesn't have any problem. Whereas the, the dog ear, because of this vertical canal being a, a cylinder, a cylinder so so uh, everything gets trapped inside to this the whole uh, water and so the, the the area becomes ulcerated and smelly and full of pus that's the reason so now we have already removed that vertical uh, that rectangular window or wall so you can see a hole this hole is the opening of the horizontal canal then uh, the stitches are placed one stitch here and one stitch here first on the horizontal canal and the others are stitched up stitch here and then the other front side stitch up stitch 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 and then this one is actually the remnant of the vertical canal wall so this vertical canal wall we stitch to the side here to provide a drainage board we stitch here stitch here stitch here so any 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 uh, dirt or anything from the horizontal canal will drain here so it's called drainage cartilage uh, and uh, this is operation is quite commonly done and it's called ZEPS operation so the next one will be uh, as you can see this is 18 hours after surgery now this case this nozzle has hairy ears so all this hairs hairy ears trap the water and dirt and so it causes a lot of infection and inflammation. So now we, we have removed the, the side wall, the lateral wall of the vertical canal, as you can see. You can see the, this, this, this wall has been removed. So that's why it's called lateral ear resection, lateral ear canal resection. And you can see the opening of the horizontal, or the horizontal canal. So in this case now, no matter how much hair is growing on the inside wall, there's no, no problem for, the, for this nozzle because uh, there is a uh, drainage and ventilation now of the horizontal canal and uh, this nozzle will no more uh, being in pain or, or having smelly ears or pus or pus inside the ears and uh, it goes on to live a normal life, pain-free life. Now, it's in summary, this is the illustration I did to give to the to one owner or this owner's nozzle. Now basically just to recap, just to recap, 
vertical canal. The dossier is made up of vertical canal, BC, and a horizontal canal. That, that is the structure of the dossier. Okay. Now, this vertical canal and horizontal canal is one L-shaped cylinder. This L-shaped cylinder. So, in, in talks with floppy ears, it, it traps the water because it can't come out. The, 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 the floppy ear dock covers up the opening of the vertical canal. So it becomes infected and swollen. And uh, the bacteria, the fungus, and the uh, yeast starts to grow here. And so after many trips to the groomer, in some dogs it doesn't recover because the floppy ear, uh, like, like cocker spaniels or cover king child, they cover up. So once they cover up, there's no uh, way for the water to, to escape, unlike dogs with erect ears. Erect ears, like this is a dog with erect, erect ear. Erect means the ear is standing. So it's possible for the dog to shake off the water after bathing. And, uh, and there's air ventilation. So you see that dogs like Jack Russell with uh, erect ears, they don't have problems, even uh, German shepherds. And most of them have problems. Okay, so now we go to go back to this. So the faucet is inserted in to, to reach to the bottom of the vertical canal and that is where I mark the X. Okay, so the, the, the incision length should be X for the for the length of the vertical canal. Then you, you estimate another half of X. This is for the drainage cartilage. So the total incision is X, where X is the length of the vertical canal plus another x upon 2. So the marker pen is used to draw this rectangle as a guide for the elect electrode. So for the surgery. So now if we go to number 2. So uh, so after the ele electrical incision using electricity to cut, this skin, uh, this skin flap is lifted up as you saw earlier on, lifted up, exposing the muscles and the fat of the vertical canal which the back can feel with his fingers. So you feel the fingers that he knows is up to here the, the the depth of the vertical canal or the length. So now we go to the next stage. We will use a faucet to clamp on this side. Okay, the clamp it so that the electrosurgery cut cut along along it after removing the clamp one here and then uh, then uh, the other, the other side. I mean, this side is clamped, and then it cut again. It cut. That means you cut two sides. So you expose. You pull it downwards. Then you pull down the the cartilage of the vertical canal. You pull down. So you see a hole. Now this hole is actually the opening of the horizontal canal. You see the horizontal canal is this. So the hole is here. You can see the hole. So this hole is actually open the horizontal canal. Uh, so after that, the vet of course cut off part of the the vertical canal cartilage, which had been pulled downwards, and leaving one centimeter here, here to here.